What up YouTube and welcome to another episode of What Gets On My Tits. What Gets On My Tits. Self entitled people. People who want something for nothing. I've known a lot in my time. You know, I don't want to go into people who claim benefits. If you need to claim benefits, that's cool. Whatever, whatever your reason. I don't really care. Um, but don't complain. You're getting something for nothing. You know what I mean? If you're ill. If you're poorly, if you're ill. Okay, cool. But when it's just because you want to sit on your arse at home, If you did, if you're disabled, it's completely different. You know, people who only work a certain amount of hours a week, so they can claim benefit and spend the rest of the time sitting on their ass. I don't particularly feel sorry for you. And then don't come to me telling me how hard done by you are. I mean, when I have to spend 40 hours a week in what I can to as hell. I've had people talk and oh, I feel really sorry for so and so. You know, why? She had to go to work today and, you know, they've got to, that, they, they had to be there for like four hours and, you know, they, they do work hard. This is while I'm going to work for eight hours and the person you're talking about is basically going for four hours and that's broke down into seven days they're doing 16 hours a week and it's broke down into seven days I, I, I'm sorry I don't I, I, I can't get it I don't feel sorry for that person I'm sorry when the rest of their money is coming from the state I don't get it this this man I love the people that blame the foreigners the immigrants that come over. So, I've worked with two English people, born and bred. Lazy's two human beings I've ever met in my life. I've then worked with two Latvian people, and you've never seen them work harder. That's what it is. It's not them coming over. <laughs> No, 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 no. They didn't take your job. You're just fucking lazy. You're lazy. You want to get paid for doing nothing. It doesn't work like that. If you want something in life, you've got to work for it. And put the errors in. Because eventually, what's going to happen is it's going to bite you in the arse. And eventually... When all the people that have been holding you up and wiping your ass and rubbing your head and telling you that everything's lovely and roses and peaches, they're gonna die. Sorry, they're gonna die and you're gonna be on your own. The only way in life, what I've learned over the years, is you have one person and one person only who's going to sort your shit out and that's you and that's why I give myself the most criticism that I give anyone because at the end of the day it's all down to me numero uno unless you've got kids and you know you, me personally I think about my kids more than I think about me or I wouldn't have spent 10 years here. Lesson for today. Number one, don't come to me and complain that you didn't get your benefit this week. Number two, whoever you're leaning on isn't always going to be there. And if they are there, I'm going to get fed up with your shit. Number three, get out, get a job do something for yourself don't sit there complain and moan 
the, the state or the council or the benefits office or whoever I should keep me more money this week and now but they told me I was going to get 120 and I only got 104 I'm not very happy about it I'm going to come up to that council home and I'm going to give them a piece of my mind Fuck you to end this there's only one person in this world that's going to look after you and that's you so get off your arse and sort your shit out stay if you watch this back I'm talking to you peace out